Okay, so this is Dave Allen. We're looking at this application, Design 2, on the iPad, and we're going to warp some text. It took me a while to find out how to do this, but you go to the Layers tool here, and in the Layers tool, we've got what we're looking for. And what I want to do is I want to choose a warp style. And first of all, I'm going to choose Quad. So now when I've got a Quad in there, what it means I can do is I can go in there and I can start changing it around. So if I want to have this at the bottom here with a bit of a curve on it, all I could do is just bring that down. Okay, so that's the quad. As soon as you've actually sort of done any change on this, you change it from quad to being a mesh. Let's go back into this here, back into the node editing tool, and I can get back into this here, and I can bring this down as well. So now I've got a sort of um, mesh where it's uh, brought it down and warping it down to the bottom. Let's come back out of that there again, back to the start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a different one. This time I'll go directly into, we'll go for perspective this time. And with the perspective, what you can do is you can just grab these corners and change the perspective of what it is that you're warping here. So I can change the perspective so that it looks quite like that. So sort of leaning over at one end there. Let's move that back so it's straight again. So what else can I do with this? I can bring that down like this. So all sorts of things you can do with your perspective there. And I can change it from being perspective to an arc of vertical. Let's uh, bring this here. So bring this down to here. And as you can see, it's changed to a mess now from being an arc vertical because I used uh, one of those nodes there to do a bit of change in there. So what I can do is I can bring this back to the way it was by just changing these nodes here and these handles off the nodes. Gotta go back to the node editing tool to go to what I'm looking for. Select that there and then select that there. I'm using the Apple Pencil to do this here. And I can get back there to the kind of mesh that we had there before. So let's go back into warps again. And this time we'll go for an arc of vertical. Okay, so there's our arc of vertical. And that converted into curves. And I don't have my uh, warping tools on there anymore. And that's just each separate letter so I can Go into this one here and select just that one there if I want to. And you can see, in fact, that's a good thing there. It's actually still a vector. It hasn't been changed into a bitmap. Let's go for a bend vertical this time. I'm going to do a bend horizontal. We can basically sort of change this shape to however we want it. And you can grab it by the handles there, or you can put your Apple Pencil in the middle of the line there and move the line to wherever you want it. And that changes the uh, shape of whatever's inside the uh, warp there. And I'm going to select the top line now with the pencil. And I'm just moving that up. And I'm moving it and changing the warp as I move it. Let's go back again to the start. So with a fisheye warp, you get a lot more nodes to play with. You can start off by moving these on the bottom corner here. And just affect whatever's in that particular corner there. Move the handles from the nodes to get the shapes that you're looking for. Then you can move on to the middle nodes if you want to. And again, move the handles around to get the shapes that you're looking for with the letters within the space there. Make your adjustments until you get the shapes that you're looking for across the whole of the text shape or whatever else you're working with. And then you can say you're finished whenever you've got it just right. And I'm going to move that there so I've got a sort of strange looking shape at the top of it. I move that over there, move that over there, I can move these ones in the middle as well. You get some really wild and silly effects inside of that. Let's choose another one here. Let's go for twist this time. And as you see it's got all twisted and bent out of shape. And you just basically sort of uh, bring this around and put it the way that you want. And you can make some weird and wonderful shapes with your text and still have it editable as vectors afterwards. Let's go back into the layers again. And we're going to choose another type here. And we're going to go for a bend vertical. Did we do one of those? That's the bend vertical. Bend horizontal. Fisheye. We showed you that one. Let's go back into this here. We'll go for the twist. That's that one. And we'll go into this one here for the quad. The quad is the simplest one of these here. Basically, you've got the corners there to start moving things around. And then as soon as you start sort of messing with any of the lines or shapes in between, it turns into a mesh. 
So let's get that and move it up there. And as you can see, it's turned into a mesh. So I thought I'd have a look at the layer effects and put some effects onto this text here. I put a uh, 3D bevel on there and also put a contour around it. Thought that looks good. And then I looked down below there and it hasn't gone over the whole of the warped text. So I think what you probably need to do with this is to convert it to curves first and then do the special effect afterwards. So I did a convert to curves of the warped text and then I added the layer effects on top of that. Put in a 3D effect on there, the bevel and also the outline and everything just works fine. Excellent. So as you can see this new tool that we've got in Affinity Designer 2 is pretty good and you should just get in there and have a play with it and see what you can do with it. I think you're going to like it. I'm Dave Allen, this is Good and Geeky. Now's the time to put a like on this video and to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon.